main ways in which social science has changed is that it's both more social and more scientific. It's more social in the sense that we now value collaboration and working together much more than we did. And it's more scientific in the sense that the techniques that we use have become much more advanced over the past 10 years. Indeed, it's partly because techniques have become so advanced that we need to collaborate and work in teams. So the vision is, I see it behind IQSS, is to create a kind of a commons. And this commons can be used by different people for different things. There is an intellectual commons. There is a data commons. There is a software commons. There is an administrative commons. And different people contribute to this commons and benefit from this commons. And I think one of the phenomenal things that IQSS has been able to do is to really create a kind of an entity where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. It's our job at IQSS to make sure that research is also easy for all the faculty. We want to make sure that they have all the resources they need at their fingertips. We make plentiful use of the kind of infrastructure support that IQSS provides to help us with grant administration, to help us with managing our projects, to help us with preparing uh, the submissions, and to help us to successfully execute these projects by providing a diverse set of skills and people who can help us at almost every step of the way. We benefit tremendously from being a member here. Because our center is small, IQSS provides us the administrative support. And it's also good to have another technical team close by and affiliated with us. We help social science researchers by providing consulting on data analysis and research design and technology. We can save researchers a lot of time and a lot of headaches by helping to identify the right tools for the job and then providing training for them on those tools. The IQSS research team has helped me in a number of ways. One example is an interface that I can use for running studies on Amazon's Mechanical Turk. This is something that, as a political scientist, I would have been very hard-pressed to do on my own. In our software development process, what we try to do is have an iterative, dynamic approach where we are in close contact with our researchers. IQS software products have allowed us to really develop our research. We've used RCE, Dataverse, and Open Scholar. We've been able to reach a much broader audience than would ever have been possible except through IQSS. Being housed in IQSS is exciting and has given rise to a wonderful symbiotic relationship. We've benefited immensely working with IQSS because we've worked with graduate students affiliated with IQSS and all of this collaborative work has generated a really incredible set of data that scholars can use everywhere. One of the great things about being a, a graduate student in IQSS is that we really have an academic community here at Harvard and we have the opportunity to interact with a wide variety of faculty members from across different disciplines. One of the things that's been really great for me is that you get to know uh, graduate students, not just from your own department, but from across the university, um, which I think really speaks to the really vibrant academic community here. You can learn a ton about your own research by seeing how other people approach uh, similar problems, and so it leads to a lot of really interesting collaboration across the university, which can be a huge benefit for graduate students early in their career. It's really nice to see that some of the tools that have been developed at IQSS apply so easily to other fields like my own in astronomy. IQSS impact goes not just beyond social science, but even beyond Harvard. <laughs>